Welcome to a very special edition of Dad Meat. We're here with Jean-Benet Delcalo. Hey, everybody. Boom, I'm Saul Pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob from Matera. Hey, hey. Thanks, thanks for being for here with us, guys. This is great. Thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks, guys. John, you were just working that. I didn't realize your penis had so many different edges to it. Well, you got to crank that thing, dude. Yeah. It's not natural. It takes a lot of work to s- <laughs> stretch it into your own ass. Then <laughs> <laughs> you hand go. it to a child. Yeah. <laughs> That's Delco. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, I popped. Oh, shit, I popped. Uh, that's a little bit of balloon hu- humor for you guys. <laughs> Dude, I got an update on my ass heat situation. Whoa. I'm cured. My hot cheeks are gone. What happened? Well, I was waking up in the middle, of, for those of you who don't know, I was waking up in the middle of the night with ex- like high temperature ass cheeks just soaked through the mattress every single night. And I checked to make sure I wasn't pissing myself like yeah. some people thought. That wasn't it. <laughs> How'd you check? Uh, I mostly was just Put like, that's up your penis pretty- at night. I just- <laughs> <laughs> I I put a candle, a lit candle between my thighs <laughs> before I close my eyes at night, and then uh, I I I changed a couple of things. I tried a new shampoo, and I stopped eating cereal at night. And I think, God help me, I think I'm out of the woods. It's a combination of the two. You well, did, it could you didn't be do either. singular experiments. No, I didn't have time, dude. It was this was life <laughs> or death. We had to try the kitchen sink. How could this shampoo? Are you shampooing your ass? Not yet. <laughs> he shampoos with icy hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So God, dude, thank thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all the donations. My God, I raised over thirty thousand oh dollars in money to to treat my hot ass cheeks, and I just want to thank you guys challenge. for yeah. <laughs> so for <thank> ASS. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's insane. How long was that going on for? It was going on. I'm not kidding. For like a month. And it was really, it was really starting to drive me crazy because I would wake up in, in the middle. I'm not. It wouldn't even be like I'd wake up in the morning with wet shorts. Yeah. It would be three, and it would just be like scorching. Like I'd wake up lifting my hips. You were in heat. Just <laughs> I was in estrus. Is that what it's called when <laughs> elephants are ready to mate? I was in my estrus phase every <laughs> single night. I was ass ovulating. Damn, dude. Was there a part of you that thought that something bad was about to happen? You know how like old blind black ladies can tell when a storm's coming? Yeah, like like when a deer freaks out before a tornado. That's, <laughs> that's what my ass is doing. <laughs> You're running in the cars. Yeah. Also, I'm back to healthy logs. So something something I changed. It was probably just I, not eating a bowl of is milk that your new and cereal? Sugar and wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Frosted healthy logs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it, I think I was. I think I was being slowly poisoned from the ass out by nighttime Kellogg's. <laughs> Trips. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you seem like you've been poisoned before. <laughs> <laughs> I have not, Mike. I'm grateful for that. It's coming. John, you have had a lot poisoned. of poison. <laughs> 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 I probably had, I mean, there must have been something in my drink in the million drinks I've had at a bar in my life. Mm-hmm. John, you actually look like you're on an all poison diet. <laughs> <laughs> What was in that so stuffed did, yeah, pretzel? Yeah, yeah. It'd be really funny if someone snuck antidote into your food every once in a while. <laughs> he goes out there, he's got rat poison bay seasoning his food. <laughs> no, but we're all healthy. We're all doing good now. You got beavis socks on today, John? One beavis, one butthead. Oh, my God. How do you get pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy these socks until I owned the pussy, dude. <laughs> you got to do it in the right order. Mm-hmm. Jake, you recently broke a bed. Is that something oh, you want to elaborate son upon? Of a bitch, yes, I did. I was getting my uh, my freak on, <gasps> and, and I broke it. And can I get a position, please? Uh, missionary, angry missionary. Jack Whoa. Hammer. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> angry, <laughs> angry missionary. So your elbows are on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> he was Jake hammering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it was nice to also like save my wife in the middle of love making. <laughs> You know, I was like, I got you. It'll be okay. Did you think for a minute that like there was an earthquake or the whole house was coming down? Oh man, I thought. Yeah. Was I there thought... a moment where it was like, this is not yeah. just the bed? Oh, yeah. All of your neighbors were hiding under door frames. <laughs> I, I thought I created a sinkhole for a minute. It was but... just a stink hole. <laughs> but yeah, we. Damn, got, we got you went through it. it. Now was yeah. it all? Was it all the legs gave out at the same time, like a sick donkey, <laughs> or did one corner go down? <laughs> No, it was. Yeah, did they splay <laughs> out? Yeah. See, Jake just created a new sex position. Sick yeah. donkey. <laughs> Luckily, the the legs are intact. It's like the uh, underneath. It's like just wood planks mm. all the way across. And the I slats. Guess, yeah, the slats. 
And so on the one side, by God, dude. where I was going, where I was going to work, it just went Phoom. the slat buster. Oh yeah, <laughs> whoa, damn. Used to double yeah. up on those bad boys. Yeah, for the next I'm, one. I'm, yeah, I've uh, I've reinforced it a couple times. <laughs> did you bust, or did that stop it altogether? Oh, I it stopped it for the moment, and then I try to fix it in the nude with the light on. Not <laughs> not a, yeah, not a good look. <laughs> but then oh, I, I was able man. to finish after a couple minutes of you know moving the mattress and. Really working up a sweat that way. <laughs> did you finish on the floor? What did you do? I mean, uh, I finished. We have a chair in the room. Mm. So, yeah, so I use that. Is that where you usually the, sit? Does the chair it's hang from the ceiling? <laughs> now it is. <laughs> yeah, we we finished on the cuck chaise long. <laughs> <laughs> That's not why the chair is there. There's a desk in the room. <laughs> that is not the cuck chair. Oh, man. What a harrowing tale. <laughs> That's actually a point of pride. I'm happy for you that, Thank you, you. that you smashed furniture. Yeah, you sh- I mean, I ruined one of Danny's chairs already, and uh, I've ruined a lot of furniture in my day, but this was the one I felt most proud of. Jake, you should start yeah. like a sex-based home improvement show. Call it This Old Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> this Old Pussy? <laughs> I don't yeah. know what that is. But <laughs> what, if you, what if you had, like, Ikea for big fat guys who still get pussy? Yeah. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. That would be, that's the dream, right? I crema or something like that. Thikea, <laughs> Thikea, Thikea. <laughs> and it was just, it was just all the same furniture, but with a second pair of slats. <laughs> all the, all the concrete. It's just everything's concrete. The, the bed, the Ooh, slats. What are you planning on doing? Like a Roman like a senator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, that's the way to do it. That'd be nice. John, what's your fucking life like? My fucking life. Wow, what a personal question. <laughs> uh, it's pretty good. I did. I broke a bed, but not in the same way uh, in high school. You and your brothers were jumping on it? <laughs> <laughs> Parents were out of town, and this this bed had, like, slats that go this way on the mm-hmm. headboard. And I was fucking, you know. <laughs> and then I pulled one of those fuckers out, tried to super glue it. I got busted. Whoa, you went hands on the rails? Yeah. Like you're trying to escape a, a, a flimsy jail cell yeah, in the old no, house? <laughs> no support on my on my uh this is high school body, Whoa. baby. You know? Ultimate warrior, man. Yeah, I could That's Superman it. position. I was doing the worm in midair. My feet weren't even on the ground. <laughs> that's <laughs> I think that's what did the uh, the bad end. <laughs> need to call a sex for this one. <laughs> it was strict palms to pelvis, feet <laughs> elevated behind you. Yeah. Damn. Just kind of uh, shaking like a piece of paper in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Holding on for dear life. <laughs> You're a devious pussy getter. I was going through your Instagram today. Like, you've had what so many hell? phases where you've probably accessed so many different kinds of pussy. Yeah, I, I, uh, I had an, a master key before I... <laughs> I was able to unlock a lot of different kinds of pussy. Was it being under 230 pounds? <laughs> Now, funny you ask, that had a lot to do with it. Time, the timeline's really creeping back in my head right now. This might be accurate. Yeah, you find one bitch, you guys get fat together. Aww. You guys are, you guys will do it eventually. It'll be fun. And then the second one of you thinks about losing weight, it's like, oh, this bitch is thinking about cheating, isn't she? I gotta fucking lose weight and cheat first. <laughs> Yeah, I went through a fit when I got you when I got into the jujitsu. I lost a lot of weight quickly, so I, I got to ask my wife if she thought I was cheating. Then, how much? Like like thirty pounds in yeah, a month? Probably or about a couple no, months. Within a couple months, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, I made a pact with Mary Jo to get to get fit at the same time. We both started jujitsu at the same time because it was like this is all above board. No mm-hmm. one's got any suspicions. But you know how wives be. You know how wives be. They always think that rear naked shoulders. Are... <laughs> You okay? A rear na- <laughs> excuse me, did you accuse me of having a rear naked chode? <laughs> You're excusing me of having a chode in the back? Yeah, you gotta suck me from the back. <laughs> I have a regular penis in the front, John. <laughs> Thank you very much. Would you rather have a little dick up front or a big one in the back? Uh, <laughs> yeah, chode up front or, or mandingo in the back. Mine has third degree burns on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it big enough where it can... Wrap around, you know. No, you tell me, Whoa. brother. No, like okay. front you have to throw it like back, a, like an upside laid. down yeah. scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> you tell us, Jake. You're the one with the ass dick. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I. I mean, I would go for anything just to claim. Oh my dick. god. What if I got a tattoo of Jake as the devil instead of a devil's tail? He's got a big dick coming off the back. <laughs> Yeah, what if we crowdfunded that tattoo? Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> <laughs> if I got a red naked 
Jake Matera <laughs> with a penis tail. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for a penis tail. Woo. Long black boots, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> And just a, a pile Obviously. of bed-shaped rubble all around them. <laughs> Brother, you are writing a song right now. <laughs> why long boots? <laughs> I'm so, why long boots? Because, because you're hot, buddy. Long. It's yeah. kind of sexy for the devil to be in long black boots. Yeah, they're fuck-me boots, dude. Final right. boots. All right. Yeah. Swinging that big old butt dick around. <laughs> <laughs> you know you gotta have the fucking boots on. Jake, what's the sex? The futon went down to Jake's house. He was <laughs> looking for some slats to steal. He <laughs> 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 was in a bind. <laughs> With a stick in his behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On his behind. <laughs> On his behind. <laughs> Ooh, Jake, what's well, the sexiest you've ever dressed? Uh, I think this is it. <laughs> this is it. I sprayed Adidas cologne for you guys. That's what. That's what I had. It's from 2011. <laughs> Expired. Yeah. Cologne. It's yeah. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought we had a dead Puerto Rican cat. Oh <laughs> <Whew>, man. <clears throat> what that, is the sexiest a guy can dress? You know, there, there was a time like, I wore a chain. That was that's a sexy thing. You like were tuxedo? a very sexy dresser. Yeah, I mean, back when you can tuck your shirt in. But you a also big difference. You are a suit guy, but then you also had a lot of scarves. Yeah, you had a LA vibes. How do you know I had a lot of scarves? I told you I looked at a lot of your pictures today. There's a lot of scarves in my pictures. Yep. I gotta fucking curate my Instagram feed. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, people actually, are gonna think I'm a you know it's a really guy. really fun thing to do. I don't know how much of this is public. They might have to add you on Facebook. But if you if you click on. John's most recent Facebook profile picture and then just the arrow back to the previous one and the previous one and the previous one. It is such a fun trip. It's almost like he's evolving into Lenny Kravitz very slowly <laughs> by the way he dresses and how, I mean, just you you had a great body on you. I had it going on for a while, yeah. At this point, he's fucking Denny's Kravitz. <laughs> 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 no, but there was a point like I was looking at <laughs> He there, does put uh, the R in R E I. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, there was a point in your pictures where you look like a vampire whose dad was disappointed in it. <laughs> was I that pale? I thought I was tan back then. <laughs> Still sleeping through the daytime. <laughs> no job for Ratu. John, no jobs for Ratu. I like it. Give me a yeah, couple no, minutes. That, hit, that, hit, that, that, that got me. <laughs> Damn. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Thank you. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I feel like is a tuxedo like the what a sexy man wears. No. What I guess it's like uh, dressing like Daniel Craig at the beach or something with like a button up short sleeve shirt and a speedo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See them legs. A polo shirt and like very short briefs. You can't tell <laughs> if he's Donald Ducking or not. <laughs> <laughs> the shirt's just long uh, enough. Oh yeah, dress dude dressing like a uh, up like a girlfriend that woke up at your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably that's why girls dress like that because that's what they think sexy guys yeah. are. <laughs> I might hit my wife with that. Just a buttoned up blouse, <laughs> no pants. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to have, make sure the sleeves go past your hands. Oh my God. <laughs> when did you get those high heels that fit you? <laughs> yeah, that's probably cool. Yeah, wearing the nice funeral shirt. That's that's the move. Yeah. Do you guys have a funeral outfit ready to go if something should happen today? No, I, I would have to. For go me to a or tailor. for someone else's funeral? For you. Mm -mm. Oh, shit. Is there something in your closet where it would be like, yeah, this is what he's wearing in the casket? Oh. Oh. I mean, you're probably looking at it. This is probably as funeral as it gets for me. I picture you like being like put in a certain position. Like, I might, not casket buried, but I'm position. gonna demand to be nude in my casket, fully open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the top's closed, Can but the bottom's that? open. <laughs> <laughs> Grandparents are still kissing me. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, someone shoves an Xbox controller up my ass. <laughs> Play on, Tim. All my gamer boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a gaming headset yeah. on my yeah. Yeah. His game's not over. It's just paused. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. That's Let it be known. This is my living will. <laughs> Kill me the second I'm admitted to the hospital and bury me nude with the bottom of my casket open. <laughs> Have you ever gone to a funeral where the person really looks bad? I don't think so. I feel like yeah, all always them, like good 
What the hell? Good. Yeah. I mean, for a dead person, they always look not like a zombie, so that impresses me. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-uh. <laughs> That's the bar. <laughs> yeah, zombies yeah. the bar. Every- I don't. I'm not scared of them jumping out of this thing at all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to look too alive. Then the fucking kids are going to be crying even more. <laughs> they think that fucking zombie's going to come out and get them. Get their cheek one last time, you know? John, you ever go up, put googly eyes in the... <laughs> <laughs> my uncle was Shake actually... from the bottom. <laughs> my uncle was buried with my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to like, unclench his dead hand. You snap his back. fingers off. <laughs> Why are no other cousins trying to get their noses back? <laughs> Uh, Chris Mack said you can get buried naked in a spore sack thing that like recycles your body mm-hmm. back into the mycelium Ooh. network. Now, basically become a tree. Basically, I want the fungal network to absorb me, and I just become another node in the global mm-hmm. uh, network. However, that's too on the nose for me. I'm I'm demanding. Actually, maybe clear casket. I want to be nude in a completely <laughs> acrylic casket and not buried at all. Yeah. Not buried at all. Next to a billboard on ninety five, <laughs> <laughs> like a Carvana thing. Yeah. <laughs> You ever, it just rotates. You ever have your neighbors put out like trash that's too big, like a, a big cabinet, and the trash men don't take it, and then it just stays there for months? <laughs> yeah. just push me out to the curb yeah. and see if the trash men take me or not. Dude, you're going to start gay grave robbers. <laughs> you're just going to be walking around with giant dirty shovels. Where are you going with that shovel? Oh, don't you want to know? <laughs> 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 Just the pickaxe. <laughs> yeah, the pickaxe has a fist at the end of the handle. <laughs> it's rubber. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, they will be doing that to you. Get ready. I think enough people aren't aren't in tuxedos in their casket. I think that's like the ultimate. Mm-hmm. I'm going to the fucking last dinner party I'm ever going to. Put me in a shawl collar, yeah. velvet jacket, mm-hmm. no bow tie, mm-hmm. regular tie. Uh, Should I go bow tie? Damn it! Ooh, I'm gonna have to do some outfit well, changes. I'm gonna have to lie down like Dracula when I get home and have my girlfriend take pictures of me to see <laughs> how I look. <laughs> you gonna hang from a pull-up bar too? <laughs> you know, there's no pull-up bars in my house. <laughs> I will have to go to the park for that. <laughs> I can picture you getting stuck on a pull-up bar upside down. <laughs> How'd I get up there in the first place? You were—that's the, the question. He carried you. <laughs> and that's and that's when Jesus beat my ass and left me hanging upside down on the fucking monkey bars. It was actually Jake lifted him up. He was hanging upside down by his ass penis. <laughs> like a monkey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh, Jake. <coughs> you and that penis. Oh man. <laughs> I'm thinking about it now. I know you, you are. Know? I could probably get a skin graft once I lose enough, got, got enough loose skin. You've been thought about Make it. one. Why yeah. isn't that the move for dudes? Why don't d- dudes who lose 150 pounds make their dick massive? Even if it doesn't get longer, at least, like, adds Can you do that? Up. Can you take the skin from all... You oh, know? you can do anything. Make it you look make... real Frankenstein-y. Mm-hmm. Man. Like building an addition on your house? <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's not yeah. the yeah. original, but it's right. still... That doesn't match the original stone, but... But there's definitely more square footage now. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's trying to add square centimeterage to it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Man. Jake, do you often think about how you almost died on this podcast? Uh, too often, yeah. It's one of the... It's a low point. I, I cannot apologize to you enough. I didn't know you were about to die. You didn't do anything. <laughs> I, I mean, you guys were just funny. You know, I don't know, man. I, a- I gotta be honest, dude. I got a taste for blood. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that Jake was in serious trouble, I was like, "How far could I take this?" Oh man, I was I was instantly drunk with power. I thought if I ended this man's life <laughs> for a bit right now, would that be legendary? Dude, when I watched it back, you guys did look delighted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, all right, I get it. Yeah. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it was yeah, I yeah. Mike was completely shell shocked. If I Tim, were... Tim's mouth was open as far as it could go because of how happy he was. <laughs> it yeah. was like I don't blame. I him. felt like Oppenheimer. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm, I've got blood on my hands. <laughs> would yeah. you at least count it to ten to see if I got up, or would you just let it happen? Just count to ten. Is that yeah, how t- like long it boxing? takes? Without breath. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he hasn't taken a breath for 10 seconds. Let's cut his fucking head He's off. He's breathing. toast. Is there a referee in the house? <laughs> Please. The man is popped. It, it was like that scene in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood when the girl falls through the window and then she jumps up. That was like me because I couldn't fucking breathe. I just was 
Like I just ejected out of the producer's seat and was just like <gasps> stopping your show <laughs> in its fucking track. Wow. Well, it getting so the highest good. ratings of all time. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, I had to pee so bad. I'm like praying I don't piss in Please the let tub. me die before I piss my pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Please, God, don't <laughs> let me release my bowels until after I've I, I, until I, the I, light has left my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me shit my pants in front yeah. of my boys on yeah. camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta no, carry a little great. card that says that's definitely embalming fluid. <laughs> <laughs> it is not piss or shit. Yeah. <laughs> he carried this in his wallet. <laughs> John, when's the last time you had a medical emergency? Well, I, I probably have what most people would consider an emergency every single day. But when's the last time I took the time to ask about it? I went to the doctor because uh, I had gout maybe five years ago and I had to like sneak between appointments because it was like day day of I was like I need to come see a doctor and uh, the lady like would not listen to me what do you mean she like was just didn't believe that I had gout because my foot wasn't like inflamed at all mm -hmm. it was just painful and I was like yeah I never got inflamed and then she's like just backed out the door and I was like is it the shoes I wear at work and she was like yeah change your shoes maybe <laughs> and then I haven't been back to the doctor since because I don't trust them. They and then I me. think she went into like, like, uh, not holistic medicine, but like natural medicine after that. So this lady did just, just didn't want to give me any kind of medicine at all, I think. I don't know what she could have given me. I think like if you take she might have been, medication. Um, she might have been a D certified, whatever they call it when you're. Well, she is a nurse, a nurse practitioner. Oh, so she was never a doctor. Right. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I know a guy that was a naturopath doctor. And he was basically considered a uh, laughing stock amongst all his peers <laughs> because apparently you just go to like natural doctor college for like it's either six weeks or six months. Oh my god! Yeah, and then he came back and started wearing like a lab coat and stuff like that. Oh no! And uh, he never like worked for he never practiced he never saw patients. He like worked for like a like a supplement. Well, you know how every fat bitch wears scrubs now. Do you think mm -hmm. lab coats are going to be the next wave? Ooh, if they came in different colors, that would definitely be sick drip. Mm -hmm. Plaid, plaid lab coat. Maybe I'm just going to start wearing... Tie-dye lab coat. The top part of a geese. Cool. A gi jacket is sick. I thought about Those wearing... Those are, like, cool. <clears throat> I thought about wearing one because it was uh, 52 degrees, and I was looking at my winter coat, and I was looking at a hoodie, and I was like, neither of these are quite right. And yeah, that's was, shoulder season, baby. I had a gi jacket, and I was like... Could I? Would you wear your belt with it if you wore the gi jacket? Ooh, like a Russian Sambo guy? Mm -hmm. That would be so powerful. Now, there needs to be something without a belt, some way to tie it without there being the belt. Because in the belt... You sound asking. like a white belt right now. I'm trying to show off my <laughs> colors, dude. Yeah, I can't go out wearing a belt. I'll get my fucking ass torn You're off. Gonna, you tell me to leave the purple belt at home? Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think about this, John? I got too fat for my blue belt, so now I wear blue suspenders on the mat. <laughs> do they really make lengths that you can grow out of? Uh-huh. Belts? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a certain size. and It's yeah. like I'm, I'm probably right at the limit. I would have to lose because you have to, to tie it in a belt. certain knot, right? So there needs to be enough slack. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. do you do if you're like my size and you get a belt? You wrap your ass penis around your waist <laughs> twice <laughs> and then crank a knot. Yeah. Change the new red belt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking meat belt, Matera. <laughs> That's what you do, man. You there's so many things you could do with that ass penis, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> what that ass penis do? Okay. Oh, Everything man. but fuck normal. Dude, you, could, <laughs> you know what you could do? I would go to I would go to like a shallow uh, creek in like a heavily populated like uh, outdoor area, yeah. like a park, and I would just beaver tailed on the top of the water. <laughs> splash, splash, splash. <laughs> That's what I would do if I was you. Just, just <laughs> no. to get a wet or to fish? Like uh, it's more about the display and the splash sound. <laughs> yeah, I guess maybe you could drum up some some wildlife, some game. Yeah. But. For the most part, dude, I'm just putting on a show. <laughs> yeah, you would be you would be good at doing that to keep like people making crystal meth away because that's yeah. where they like to go. Also, you could probably attract a woman with a gigantic ass pussy. <laughs> that's probably the that's probably the way. My that, soulmate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the way that your kind reproduces. You go out into the woods and you slap your giant ass bird onto Ooh. the onto the creek. Imagine the hamstring workout you yeah. get by fucking a lady with an ass pussy. <laughs> My legs are already burning. <laughs> Just thinking about beating it to it. I 
goddamn. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'd use my ass dick to knock down every squirrel feeder that I see, though, <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> Would you do it like those martial arts guys with, like, the ball in the end of a whip? Like, you spin it around <laughs> your neck and stuff, and then it flies off and I just smashes do, it. I just do one of those, and then do a spin. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I'd do that. I'd get into that stuff. God, what I might this? get a prosthetic. What would the surgery oh, yeah. cost? Now that I'm thinking... To have one attached yeah. to you permanently? Penis oh, yeah. tail surgery. <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, dude, if you if you go to Planned Parenthood in Pennsylvania as a man and say that I'm having issues with, like, my gender dysphoria or whatever, they'd probably take that thing off and throw it on the back for you. Dude. And then say, like, That's this actually movie. isn't big enough. I need I need the state to cover cosmetic surgery for my tiny ass penis and make it a <laughs> big one so that I can experience gender euphoria. I'm... Probably they probably fund that for you. You don't think they give me one of those like test ones first, like a pillow? You know, like you know how like pregnant women have to wear like a pillow. Oh, like a bag of sugar hanging off your ass crack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy to, yeah, maybe. All right. What if they made you hold an egg between your ass cheeks for two weeks before they My even God. considered the surgery? <laughs> <laughs> this gets scrambled very fast. Is he eating it? <laughs> like, we went through a whole twelve pack today. <laughs> uh, Jake, how big would you go before you had the surgery to put around back? Uh. I, I got to say arm's length at least, right? Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, I, I, have a, I have a big ass. You don't want it to just look weird. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If you have a small penis on your back, you look like a freak. Yeah. If you got yeah. a big swinging tail. Thank you. You look cool, man. Now, here's the thing they don't want you to know. You can make your dick bigger on its own. You just have to have somebody blow into your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's hard. <laughs> that's the hardest part to do. <laughs> Not enough bendy straws in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you lose suction on so many fucking yeah. corners, you know? Mm. That's why you gotta get into welding. <laughs> <laughs> bendy straw welding. <laughs> Just a bit later. Yeah. Yeah. Are you still wearing the mask? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure there, I'm sure there's a fitting tubs could help me with. <laughs> Give me a little shortcut. Oh, yeah, he's got a guy with a back loader, like, lowering <laughs> the crazy straws into your ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now seems like a great time to thank our sponsors this episode. <laughs> Dad Meat is presented to you by Manscaped. Spring has sprung, and our friends at Manscaped have the best tools for some spring cleaning. John, how's your pee-pee looking? Good. I just did some spring cleaning the other day. I did, too. Nice. I'll, I'll even show you my balls when we're done. What do you think they feel like? Show or feel? What is this? What do you want to do? Neither. <laughs> I think feel is the more compelling content. No show. <laughs> What if I rubbed it on your hands like Rocky Dennis showing Laura Dern what colors feel like? We'll figure that out later. <laughs> but if you go to manscaped.com, use promo code FATBIRD, you get 20% off plus free Here's shipping. what pink and freckly feels like. <laughs> Dude, Tim, thank you That's for manscaped.com. <laughs> thank you for calling them freckles because an autistic boy once referred to them as liver spots and it destroyed me. On your testicles? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank That's you for clearing that up. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Mike. But yeah, you can what find out. Work at? Why are you town on yourself? <laughs> Manscaped University. <laughs> but yeah, go to manscaped.com, use promo code FATBIRD. You can get all kinds of cool shit that they got to have your balls looking good, smelling good. Get your asshole tuned up. Get your get your oil done while you're back there. Manscaped.com, promo code FATBIRD, 20% off and free shipping. Also, go to trueclassic.com and... Leap into the new year with clothes that will give you the confidence to tackle those 2023 resolutions. Thanks to our sponsor, True Classic, you'll have everything you need to hit the gym, take it slow, or treat yourself to something nice. True Classic has already helped over 2 million men that look like me look great in their tees. I'm wearing one under this shirt right now. And now you can save big while you do so. For a limited time only, get 25% off with the promo code FATBIRD at trueclassic.com. Tim, if you don't mind raving about these T-shirts real quick, I'll take off my shirt and I'll show them what a true classic T-shirt looks like. Get them. So you just heard Mike complain about how he's outgrown his uh, jujitsu PJs and he's too fat for them now. But look at the confidence this this man shows. This is a fashion show. Look at this. Hmm. I've also I've I've oh. found throughout my fat periods. Oh, and the tuck looked great. You see this? Damn. I've I've gone through fat periods in my life where <laughs> Hanes and Fruit of the Loon stopped getting it done. Why did they do it in my face? At every angle, I felt like <laughs> everyone looking at my body could just see how much I hated it. But when you finally happen upon a shirt that has the right cut, the right fit, that complements your fucking grotesque mass that's stacked on top of your hips, <laughs> it truly makes all the difference in the world. It could be the first step in the forward motion that pulls you out of that suicidal depression that has you just obsessively consuming podcasts. That's trueclassic.com. 
<laughs> Promo code FATBIRD. <laughs> Tim, you were too good at this point. <laughs> also, be sure to check out BetterHelp.com. Use promo code FATBIRD for that as well. I benefited from BetterHelp over the summer. It really helped me out a lot, and uh, it's one of the things that really helped me get through a difficult time. You could do uh, video chat. You could do it fucking texting. You could do it over the phone. You could probably do a fucking message in the bottle to one of these fucking psychological perverts. But go to BetterHelp.com. Get squared away. Get what you need. Promo code FATBIRD, and uh, yeah, they'll help you out. Good job. Thanks. God, we're we're fucking professional now. These really are nice t-shirts. I don't think they I've feel seen one in the man. flesh. There has to be a limit, though. To what? Like, I mean, I can't wear a true classic t-shirt. Why not? Sure you could. And look like that? Oh, that's very sweet of you, Jake. I bet you could. could. You could. I bet you could. I bet you there's only one. Put that shirt on. All right. Mike, give him your shirt. <laughs> give Jake your shirt. <laughs> no, Jake, I don't want to ruin his shirt. Jake, please put this shirt on. All right, I'll put this They're shirt on. They're magic shirts. Please put this shirt on. I'm not doing it on camera. Uh, yes, you are. God damn it. Yes, you are. All right. Everyone's going to see my birthmark. That's fine. You're and a fat Mike bird. Was wearing a sweater under his shirt the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the significance of the Frankenstein? It's, it's Herman Monster. Monster. It's Herman Monster on Closer Look. I'm sorry. I only caught a, gl- uh, a fleeting glance. This is. Oh, this is gonna be great! Whoa! Look at you! Look at him! Dude, you look like a brand new man! It fucking worked! <laughs> wow, dude! Dude, I am. That changes everything. I mean, it worked. I know, dude. Look at it. Is, dude, oh. Are there two mics here? Because it also still looks like Mike wearing a black T-shirt. <laughs> here you go. Here's mine. Oh, oh I'm good, buddy. Oh my God, right. I like it better like this. All right. Damn. Now I'm gonna pop. <laughs> John, do you want to try it on too? Look at that. I do not. <laughs> Why don't you climb inside with me? What's it gonna take to get you in this bed, boy? <laughs> <laughs> you can fit so many dull columns in this. <laughs> There's a little room left. Look at that, dude. Jake, you look great in that shirt. Wow, wow. dude. And that's a large. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> Strongest shirt on earth. <laughs> I think this honestly is one of the best possible advertisements for their company. Oh, I, I'm telling you, do, do not air this until we renegotiate the yeah. contract. And let them know I'm a 3X or a 4X, you know, whatever, whatever they have. I think you're going to want to go with three on this one because you're already in the large. That's true. Yeah. Jake, imagine what a 2X would look like on you if oh, that's a large. Man. Oh, man. But again, you look like a roadhouse man. I'm ready. I'm ready to rip some for throat real. out. Mm-hmm. You could Ooh. definitely work security at a bar at that's going to be Road closed House. down in two months. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how attached they are to Jake Gyllenhaal on this script. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Jake's so sexy. He, he's Jake filling balls. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and it covers his uh, ass penis, too. Uh, Turn around for everybody. Look at that. Jake, I always forget you have a Frankenstein tattoo. Yeah. It's Herman Munster. <laughs> Put some Thank respect you. on his damn tattoo, Thank dude. <laughs> it's monster like the cheese, though. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, man. Yeah, Jake. Jake, what tattoos you getting next? Nuts. You know, it's been a while since I got a tattoo. I yeah. don't know, man. How long? Over 10 years? Yeah, I think so. I think the Herman Munster was the last thing. Damn. I was like, maybe was I a made one. a mistake. <laughs> no way. It all paid off. I think so. For this moment. I mean, getting that tattoo was like uh, the, the part in Signs where she's dying in the car accident. She tells Joaquin Phoenix to swing away, and then that's how he beats the aliens <laughs> at the end. That's going to save your life. I think that might have just changed everything Dude, If I get, like, forward. kidnapped in Mexico, you know, very topical right now, <laughs> and they go to just behead me, and then they take my shirt off to shame me first. They're going like, to roll you off the back of a pickup truck <laughs> inside the compound of a cartel. <laughs> Herman Munster! Herman! <laughs> you look around. Oh you God. slowly look around. There's monsters posters Dude, everywhere. They start, they start making a big convention. Like, Armando, Armando, Armando. <laughs> they bring out the leader of the cartel. He looks exactly like Herman Monster. Wait, he grabs the machete that's around your neck. He goes, hold on, wait a minute. This man is brought here for a reason. Jake, was there any part of you that wishes you got that Herman Monster tattoo on your uh, on your tramp stamp area? You know, no. <laughs> Left the tramp stamp area alone. That's for something special. That'd be a trampoline stamp. <laughs> <laughs> There's still time. There's still something oh, that works for the tramp stamp area. John, what kind of gay shit you got on your body? 
Nothing but uh, just my eyes, scars, and hemorrhoids, baby. <laughs> <laughs> My body is a goddamn temple. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stay pure. <laughs> oh man, I want to get Shaner to design. That's what I was gonna have Shane. We, we were, uh, maybe like a telethon to just have. Uh, we'll do it for like charity or something. Mm-hmm. And the more we can get people to like contribute to a cause, the bigger of a piece Shaner will design for my body. Ooh, Wouldn't that be ooh, fucking sick. Yeah, like up to a whole back up piece. Up to a whole back piece. Tim, what if? Yeah. They, but then it, it's Shaner though, so it's guaranteed just the sickest shit ever. Yeah, yeah I know some dudes with some. Fucking gnarly back pieces, dude. I know some people with some pretty fucking shitty ones. Brother, what if they donated so much money that the piece had to get continued on to us? Oh, we did like a Pink Floyd the wall. Yeah. And we had to sit next to each other in order at yeah. games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All games and concerts. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. We'd be, we'd be pretty cool guys if we did that. <laughs> Just constantly stripping nude together so that people could see our full body, one person, what, a four man tattoo. I think you should get a Beetlejuice tattoo. From Howard Stern? Uh, no, it's, no, just Beetlejuice, <laughs> like Michael Keaton Beetlejuice. Ooh. Because you did that Halloween episode. The, the legendary remember? Beetlejuice, yeah. Now nah, yourself- you should get yourself as Beetlejuice tattooed on your own back. Yes. <laughs> yes. style, dude. That's the move. Yeah, dude, That's I rock. That's the move. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's yeah. showtime, what I'll dream be in the band. I was so jarred when I saw you that night. It was incredible. <laughs> Honestly, that didn't go the way I expected at all. I thought it'd be a fun little festive it thing. Was. Like, hey, we do we do like you know timely stuff on here, but I, it truly felt like a warped experience <laughs> from my perspective. And then to have people ask for more of it was just like, no, man, <laughs> I feel humiliated. <laughs> Did you at least like get to eat inside a of McDonald's after that? for your vape? <laughs> <laughs> well, it charges whatever I need. John, you might be the only person that hasn't lost a child to have that. <laughs> <laughs> what to have a vape charging it on is, it camera? Is perfect that this looks a lot like an ankle monitor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks wow, like a like a dude. toddler's ankle monitor. Jesus Where do you get that? Christ. What? Oh, is that just a normal This is every, this is all the rage these days, baby. Okay. I don't wanna Which side goes up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Both if your ass is good. I think I might be running out of juice. <laughs> uh scratch that. There's plenty of juice left. <laughs> is that nicotine or weed? Uh, that's nicotine. Okay. This is weed. I'm thinking about getting the ones with no nicotine, though, because I can go days and days and weeks now, without smoking cigarettes. I've heard... I just like to... I've heard that nicotine is the only good part of it. Everything else is the bad part. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, I will get popcorn lung for no benefit whatsoever, other than blowing <laughs> in and blowing out vape. It's crazy that they don't have something else, like a like a cure for vape, that you can inhale and then you cough a bunch and all like the, the little triangles that are stuck to the corners of your lungs. Come out. I don't know what actually happens inside of there. If you get a microscope, I'm sure yeah. there's points on those things. Like, you know you clean a bong by just filling it with like alcohol and salt and yeah. you just shake it? How do they not have that for lungs yet? I don't understand. Hopefully it comes soon. Or like, I do feel like though, I go if I go a week or so without smoking, I feel... If I quit smoking today, my lungs would be back to normal, I'd say late fall. Yeah? Permanently. That is a pretty long time. That is actually, that doesn't reassure me whatsoever. <laughs> but he's a long-term Six smoker. Six months, though. yeah. I've been True. smoking for almost 20 years, so. You still smoke cigarettes? Mm-hmm. Not as much, but. Do they still give you, like, a little mental, like, flash? Uh, if I smoke my first cigarette of the day, I'm, like, fucking falling over high. Whoa. Jake, did you ever smoke cigarettes? No. Oh. Man, I never did. You're that. a bad boy, though. That surprises me. I smoke black and milds. Yeah. Oh, no. What the hell? Yeah, you don't even inhale them. I think that's what I, I started smoking, and then I had to inhale. Yeah. My friend had a Ford Taurus, and we'd just buy black and milds and listen to Ludacris. No, they come with the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Did you it, smoke anything ever besides um, cigars? Drugs? Actually, the the last... I had Wait, I have a vape pen at home, but before that, the last thing that I smoked was a cigar with Jake, and I threw up. Yeah, I would probably throw up if I smoked a cigar. Mm. I can't. I'm too used to s- inhaling. I, I didn't know that a backwoods was a cigar. Oh no! I was offered a backwoods. No. Oh. And uh, and I was at the I was in the I was at the stand, and I was offered a backwoods, and I said, "Wow, this smells pretty charming. This is kind of like a a, a novel thing," and I enjoyed a bunch of it, and uh, I had to leave very suddenly because I wasn't feeling well, no. and I like my skin turned green, and then yeah. I got on the train home, and I had to get off in Secaucus and puke on the on the on the platform platform. Uh. Was it a train with no bathroom? I have no idea. <laughs> you were not going to be I was on actually, that train any I was longer. actually asked to leave the train because I look so fucked up. <laughs> no way. I got all, yeah, Whoa. he said, you have to get off. And say, oh, I know. Uh, my mistake. I also got on the wrong train. 
<laughs> I was in such a you. sorry state. I got off. Yeah, I got off and I puked all over the platform, and it was a sick puke. He was also dressed like Beetlejuice this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was picking cockroaches off my neck and eating them at the same time. Nice no fucking dining car. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, Jake and I took a train recently, and uh, Jake was snapping pics of a sleeping Asian guy next to him. <laughs> No. Right next to him? <laughs> right next to yeah, him. Yeah, right next to me. Well, I kissed him. He was sleeping. Playing selfie, but just turning over. A he was trying, bit. yeah. I was, yeah. I turned the brightness all the way down and just did a little couple couple shots of us together. Yeah. Dude, were, you, were you worried at all that he'd have some sort of like innate sense that he was being targeted by a camera and wake oh, up? Oh, God. I didn't even think of the. <laughs> and then beat the shit out of like, do parkour <laughs> across the train and like spin a ladder around his neck and beat well, the shit out of <laughs> Last picture in Jake's photo roll was. <laughs> <laughs> I was already in, the train was like full, right? So like we couldn't sit together, so we we split up, and then this guy, as soon as I sit next to him, he like makes a noise. It's like, dude, I get it, but there's, there's it was a gong like, sound. <laughs> it wasn't a gong. <laughs> it was just a simple, just a, just a very agitated sigh. Uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> a very aggravated. Dun, 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 dun. But dude, as soon as I sat down, he like tried to establish dominance by going like. Phew. I'm like, nah, man, we're not doing this. So then I just fucking just let my natural body weight drop. Oh my god! Rather than dude. being polite and trying to hold it all in, dude, you could oh, destroy the slats. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> he immediately Mandarin spread. Yeah. <laughs> you got to establish <laughs> your Mandarin spread immediately, dude. Yeah. So after that, I the get gloves were off with that, and I was just like, all right, well, as soon as you fall asleep, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jake showed him who number one China was. <laughs> I regret everything. How big was he? He was tiny. Really? Oh, little. yeah. He was like, uh, the sandwich I had from Joey. Did you Rose try to freeze bigger. him in your shadow? <laughs> Did you try to deny him sunlight? I could have, man. And watch him fade away? I should have. His little feet were swinging, too. I felt bad for him at one point. Well, yeah. Do you mean... he got a, I gave him a little kiss on the head. Mm -hmm. It was David versus Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. That's not funny. <coughs> so back to that backwoods, you inhaled it like a blunt, but yeah. it was a cigar that you were not supposed to inhale. Well, no. I so thought, they're just passing around the blunt that's meant to be broken into weed? Yeah. I, yeah, but, but I think that, I think they typically keep the tobacco part, too. Oh, no. Or they mix that back in or something, or the, Some or, the, or the wrap of it is just tobacco. Yeah. And obviously, like, that's not a normal smell that comes off of those things. That's a, a spray that they put on it, I guess, because that was really gross. Huh. It felt like soda for my lungs. Yeah, backwards is like that a cigar like... that's fucked its sister. Yeah, it's never again. I can't even be around. I can't even if someone even opens a packet and I get it, I go. Oh no, it's permanent. I go. That <laughs> sucks. Mm -hmm. That's me and Captain Morgan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep that spice rum away from my fucking mm -hmm. nostrils. What's the one that's similar to that? Um, Sailor Jerry. No, no, lower class and it's like one fifty one. Mm. No. Those are like the only two spice. It might not be a rum. It might not be a spice rum, but I remember it tasting like that. Oh, fuck. Anyway, that got me twisted in ninth grade, and I fell asleep at uh, Frankfurt Transportation Center. On oh, my own. no. I slept oh. I slept overnight. Oh, Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember it from the story, or did you just think No, I it? also threw up on a lawn one night. Yeah, I passed That's out. That's low, though, right? Isn't that like not that strong? And I don't think that tastes that bad either. But I guess if you're f chugging Which it. Which I guess is probably why ninth graders were drinking right. it in yeah. a house party. And I was just glug, 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 glug. And uh, I fell asleep at possibly the, I mean, just look up, if you're listening or if you know the area, look up Frankfurt Transportation Center, dude. I mm -hmm. crashed I on a bench you did that. and yeah. woke up in the morning. It's crazy how Southern Jesus Comfort Christ. ends up becoming Northern Discomfort, right, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> it, that, that do be ironic, though. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, we didn't even get into uh, those Murdoch children. Oh, man, what time is it? How much time do we have here? Should we just wait? Until... Yeah, like 15 minutes. We can talk about it now if you want. Or you can, or we can wait until we switch over to the Patreon. Yeah, let's wait. I feel, like, we, I feel got, like we could talk about that for a long while. Yeah, I'm with you. Let's wait on that. <laughs> hmm. We, we going to be talking Buster later? Oh, uh, you already know it. Buster he, and Paul Paul? He looks like the bus, biggest Buster that ever did bust. <laughs> what the hell? That family is the O'Doyles in my mind. And I hope they all go down real soon. And it seems like they are. 
Yeah, one by one, they're, they're getting They're crumbling. There. I guess yeah. we're going to have to wait for the sequel. That Netflix <laughs> that Netflix series on it, uh, did you watch the Netflix or the mm-hmm. HBO? Netflix. I heard HBO H- was I heard better. HBO was better. The HBO Netflix had actual one, footage of the boat crash. Oh, shit. The, it, the yeah. Netflix one was so poorly made. Actually, it was gorgeous. It the, looked great, but every single interview clip beautiful. ended up with them being like, I just need a minute. And it's like, why are you putting that part in? <laughs> yeah. Because they didn't have anything otherwise. I right, guess exactly. HBO had all the rights that, dude, I'm fired up about this Netflix documentary. I, I was so mad when it ended. And then it ends before anything is actually concluded. Everything was still up in the air. It, yeah. was, it was very clearly setting up season two. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, it, it, was three, it was too long. They could have cut, like, maybe 60% of it. It could have been one episode. Most Netflix documentary Most- series are like that, though. True, and that's my problem with them. But this was just so fucking egregious. Yeah, it's like triple spacing an essay. I yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. And most most of the runtime of it was the one blonde girl trying to find new ways to say that she had she was with the boy because of the money. Uh huh. She was just like, and when he wasn't drunk and he me, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then he killed my friend's dog, and I thought this is a warning sign. <laughs> But then things would be good again. <laughs> and then he killed my friend in a boat crash. And I thought, there's no way this can go on anymore. I just don't understand. But then things would be so good. It's like, oh, dude, you thought in high school you found your millionaire husband. Yeah. Yeah. And, and two hours willing, a week you, you watched, didn't hate his guts. You watched him kill everybody. <laughs> You're just like, oh my God. <laughs> And she also, dude, she tried three different looks for the interviews. Like, every, they, they interviewed everybody multiple times. Was one like, of them big Coachella hat? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, her main one was Belle of the Ball. She was completely done up. But I know she noticed this when, she, when they were like, here's how it looks. She was looking a little bit chinny in it. So the next one, her hair was pulled back really tight, like the later interviews where she was like, and some more context on that. And it was like, she was sticking her chin out. Uh-huh. So she, uh, I mean, they all so put on weight. She brought the they camera. all put on stress weight. And yeah. they were all, and she was the one that it hit hardest. It's tough, like with those interviews, like you realize that like, okay, this dude was dealing with three chick, drunk chicks on board. Like no shit, he drove his fucking boat. The <laughs> <laughs> At one point, he dude. was just doing circles. Yeah. Like somebody tell these fucking bitches <laughs> they shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a no wake zone. It's a no wake zone. He was doing circles on like. Oh, a- we're at a white claw. Are there any more white claws under that dashboard? I know your dad keeps them under there. Paul, I'm not texting and, and boating. I'm changing the song. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I hated, I hated that Dude, shit. Dude, th- there's got to be like a three second frame where when you're ejected from a boat, that's got to be the coolest shit ever. It's that's, look that's the dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, it's like what half fucking being shit, in a tornado yeah. is like. Dude, half the shit I did as a kid was simulating being ejected from a vehicle. <laughs> yeah. That that was just not. But uh Do you think you're spry enough to to uh cannonball into the water if you're ejected? I know I'm not dying. <laughs> like a fucking idiot. <laughs> like an uncoordinated bitch. <laughs> You know, it's really <laughs> fucked up. So the it was kind of a recent one. These this was like 2017. Mm-hmm. It yeah. happened. You know, the second they got up on the land, they were like, "Oh my god, is this gonna be Netflix? Is this gonna be a docu series?" <laughs> they're all concussed, just like, "Oh my god, they're gonna interview me about this for the series." <sighs> Paul, Paul. <laughs> Yeah. Somehow his hair is better off after the accident. <laughs> oh my God, the haircuts. That's what <laughs> between between this and the Patreon, we got to pull up each haircut from this. <laughs> <laughs> the haircuts were all motherfucking fleek <laughs> for these southern retards, these swamp morons. <laughs> I do feel bad watching victims of crimes be interviewed for stuff, and it's clear that their brains are so simple that they can't even comprehend <laughs> what was happening in the moment. What like they, they don't, I don't even, I wonder if they even are aware like the, the camera is in front of them it's really fucked up did you have a favorite a uh, a favorite interviewee Mm -hmm. um yeah i liked uh i liked old cottonhead what was his name the dude dude with the worst haircut with the bieber yeah that guy was my favorite but i also thought that he was kind of a bitch i just liked looking at his fucked up head (laughs) his fucked up head and face scar Oh, I also like the one the one chubby friend who was like, I never liked Paul. Mm-hmm. She was cool. Mm-hmm. You do need a fat bitch friend around just scaring off your bad boyfriends. 
That's important in a girl's life. She's like Me- a bad boyfriend scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> a scare bro? <laughs> it's just a chubby yeah. chick named Megan. <laughs> He doesn't even deserve you. <laughs> Paul, you need to stop. <laughs> Down south, you get one of those free. Like, when you're a hot white girl, you get a pretty, uh, to my eyes, kind of pretty hot fat white girl. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously not horrendous to look at, but boy, oh boy, she looked like she could play football. <laughs> she, uh, yeah. she definitely she, survived a boat yeah. she, she could handle that, the blind side. That's, that's, sure. your, that's your pussy's offensive line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like her. <laughs> Michael O. <owe> her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fourth and inches. You want her at nose tackle. <laughs> that bitch is a stout rump stuffer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they get assigned to you like a fucking. <laughs> I was kind of dis- I was kind of disappointed though because like you would think that you know with all that great southern cooking down there you would have just an absolute fucking house. Of yeah, one of them would should have been a unit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I guess the one the one friend I think w- was pretty tall. Paul's boy that was yelling, "Fuck you! I hope you rot in hell." And oh, like, why are you fucking Anthony. smiling? Someone has died. Anthony, yes. Anthony. Yeah. Anthony's Anthony. girlfriend. He seemed tall as hell, but uh, we're talking I about think, fat white girls though. I'm talking about girl corn fed. Oh, I'm just girls. thinking about boys like <laughs> usual. No way, dude. <laughs> you want to borrow this ass penis? <laughs> I've been rubbing it from back here the whole time. Just imagine you're in a boat behind Jake and like his ass penis saves you. <laughs> his it's, meat belt. <laughs> it's the tiny hand from Scary Movie too. Oh, it's my only chance of survival. My sperms. <laughs> yeah. So just real train wreck people. What do you but think? Have you done any independent digging on all this and stuff? And do you have stuff to like reveal to us? Dude, I didn't know anything about this until John mentioned it on last week's Little Stinker, so I checked it out and I watched the Netflix thing, and I was blown away at the the depth of how fucked up this family is and that I hadn't heard about it. Yeah, they've been keeping it a fucking secret. I think the first thing I ever heard about it was when the dude tried to have somebody um, fake murder him. Yeah. So it seemed like he was uh, under. Cool, yeah. That was the first thing I ever heard of it. Well, the reason you didn't hear about it is because like these people have absolute control over a town of like 2,900 people. Yeah. It's like Which is so fucking weird. You're the king of like four square miles. It's like we couldn't imagine anything in this town happening without Ro- Robert's name or Rupert's name attached to it. It's like yeah. okay, yeah, and no, no one outside of a newspaper that's received by like 300 residents will ever hear about this. Yeah, shit. let me ask you all this: If the four of us were in a boating accident, how would each of us fare? Whew, man, I mean, I guess it depends on how many hands each of us gets on. Jake's ass penis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to be launched directly into Jake's back. I'm going to be paralyzed, <laughs> paralyzed yeah, from driving. the nose down. Well, I got really into the uh, what was it, the biomechanic expert that recreated the boat crash. Mm-hmm. That really got a hold of me. I was like, ooh, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe I could quit podcasting. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> if I got to just like play with a boat video game and tell people how their children got smashed. <laughs> ooh, I forgot about that. Be a fun job, <laughs> Tim. I don't know if you know this, but Jake actually wrecked a jet ski. Oh, I did, yeah. You're having sex on it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I flipped it. It was propping up my bed. <laughs> I was using it to hold the slats. <laughs> yeah, no, I just flipped it. And it was uh, it was my little sister's boyfriend's uh, parents' jet ski. And I fucking flipped, flipped it, it. all the way upside down? Oh, yeah. And then I couldn't, f- you couldn't flip it back over. And so it just fucking... Ruined it kept, the dude, capsized. <laughs> dude, yeah, yeah. Dude, jet skis are like turtles. Once they're in that condition, like you, you might as well just fucking kill them. It's like, I'm sorry I rode your jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. Then they broke up. Yeah. I fell over on a um, snowmobile once. It was like a big track, like Mario Kart, uh, just the circle track that you go around like oh, seven times. Fun. Very fun. And I was like, all right, this is Mario Kart. I'm going to try to do a skid around a corner. And that's not how snowmobiles work. <laughs> so I started to skid and it just <laughs> slowly <laughs> turns over. And you're like, it wasn't crushing my leg or anything, but I could not get my leg out. So I had to wait for the adult to come over. And meanwhile, I'm, I'm 32 years old while this is happening. Uh, Mr. Del Calo, it turns out we can't refund your deposit. You left a bunch of bananas and turtles on the <laughs> snowmobile track. You know how hard they were to get, you fucking PSA? <laughs> yeah. I'm, ooh, I'm going to need to crash something now. Jake, were you yeah. doing tricks on that thing? No. I was barely staying afloat from the jump. 
<laughs> it was like Titanic from the beginning. I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, I, I got to sink this thing. <laughs> Jake's making sparks on the bottom of the lake. I've <laughs> 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 never seen that before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. <clears throat> I think there's an man. underwater volcano, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Pateri, you actually have to rent two jet skis. <laughs> <laughs> He's standing on them. <laughs> I have always wanted to do that. What's it? Is it parasailing? When you like get in the water behind the boat and then. Uh... That's when they lift the wheelchair up into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> have you, yeah. You you got an interest in trying that? I, I would do it. I have to get to a certain weight before I do it. So. Do you think they make you use two parachutes or two boats? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a, a cruise liner? You guys are bringing it? <laughs> If you're Jake, parasailing, Jake's like ready when you are. It's like, <laughs> I get up there. I'm like, I'm the king of the world. Have you, have you either of your guys gone parasailing? No, I believe I did when I was younger. How yeah. high up do you have to be before they can't hear the N word on land? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the Virgin Islands, dude. Anything goes. This is, I think, international waters. John's the fucking president of that fucking place. <laughs> 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 Mm. What am I hearing? It's the haunted black nail salon that this place used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's ripping a new track around the corner. We That's go downstairs. A, a That's the work crew. What are they? I'm I'm listening to a rugged boombox right now from upstairs. Mm. You don't think it's a Dewalt? <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, those, they're not the Walt guys. Milwaukee. Please tell me. Please tell me you're already writing an email to the management about this. These mother- this is a production studio. Okay? You guys want me to go down there? Security? Yeah. <laughs> you want me to go down there? Oh, shit. Is that a true classic? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, please go get slapped by an under-the-table drywall guy, <laughs> if you would. He, get, he got yelled at last week by a black guy for pissing in the bathroom. I did, yeah. He I pissed all over the floor. Pissed all over the floor. Why? And I tried... I did, I was, out of protest. Everyone's natural first Look, question first is why. All, first of all, I can't see what's happened. You know, I thought I gave myself a pro- appropriate length. To the bowl, I did not. His dick's in the back for starters. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to f- size it up. Piss all over the floor. There's no paper towels, and I step out, and I'm like, they're fucking waiting. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. So I try to walk by him. I'm like, hey, just so you know, someone pissed all over the floor. Uh, and the guy was like, well, you're the last one in there. I'm like, all right, it was me. It was His me. dick's still out. <laughs> all you had to say was, well, I'm not gonna clean up somebody else's piss. Yeah, they were in here before me. I went back and cleaned it up. But he got got though. Yeah, I got caught. I gave up immediately. Yeah, it happens, man. <sighs> Lie till you die, bro. Dude, I that's I could never get questioned by. I've that. been I've been I've been spending six months trying to get these guys to passively think I'm kind of cool, and now I'm, I'm... associated with a guy that pissed all over <laughs> no! their stuff. I'm so sorry, Tim. <laughs> I'm furious, dude. So you tell me where to piss, I'll piss. Try the toilet for <laughs> once. Yeah, Learn it. <laughs> I'm learning. Jake, there's a shower. Can we get him like an ice luge for his piss <laughs> that he could just walk up to? He could wheel it out like a like like a, a kid's bowling party. That's why I use that's why I use cups. You know, oh no, you do piss in cups. I always well, forget that. It's been a while. But we need no, to get you a sheenus or whatever it's, it's the thing like is. Six months. It has not been a while. It's been a while as a stain song. Why don't we hang a bucket off your meat like we're feeding a horse? <laughs> Nay. <to that> <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> All right, now seems like a good time to switch over to the Patreon. Let's go over there. <laughs> if you're not on the Dad Mead Patreon yet, go to patreon.com slash Podcast. Join us there for part two of this episode in a few minutes and uh, all the part twos of all the things we've ever done. Guys, you want to promote anything before we go? Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Johnny Delco. Thanks for having me on, guys. What a blast. I love having you guys on. Yeah, I love it that. when you don't have a shirt on next to me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, check out Little Stinkers if you haven't already. It's so fun. So cover a lot of crazy people. Uh, Dab Me live at Helium Comedy Club this Saturday, March 11th, 4 p.m. with very special guests, John McKeever and motherfucking Steve Gerben. I can't believe we're getting Gerben out of the house, but this is a special event, so he's going to make an exception. We've, we've awoken Gerben from his old unholy slumber for one night, one afternoon only. Please come to that. Dude, I can't wait to pick his brain because he's got a girlfriend now. Wow. Good for him. Is that why he has not been leaving the house much? Oh, I know that feeling, brother. Did he meet her on the QVC set? Ooh, that would be romantic. Yeah. Sharing a hot chocolate. With a, with <laughs> they cross bitch. swords for just a moment. <laughs> I think we might have something here. <laughs> and then also uh, Stoner Dads, live at Magoobie's uh, 420. 
and uh, and then we have another live dad meet, Life It Up at Kansas City, 428. Please Ooh, come to both of those, all three of those, and then also twitch.tv slash Tim uh, I believe tonight I'm going to do a stream, and I'm going to... I got some test merch that I want to I wanted to show, and it might be the wackest shit ever, or it might be pretty tight. I'll leave it up to those guys tonight. That's switch.tv slash Tim Butterly. You should stream with Jake as long as you don't mind him getting it all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, check out Little Stinkers. Uh, also, check out On Perks. Go to onperks.com for a copy of my new book. And then if you also want the audio version, uh, just send me a message somewhere. It's got a fucking weird link to it, but I'll get it to you. Also, please come to our fucking live show next week. It's Saturday afternoon, which is a treat for people like me who don't like leaving the house at nighttime. It's going to be at 4 p.m. Helium Comedy Club. Go to heliumcomedy.com. You're not going to believe the perverts that come out at 4 o'clock to watch comedy, but we're going to be amongst them, and we're going to be raising hell, and you better be, you better believe we're going to be screaming some bad words. Yeah, I hope there's no dogs on the way to the show. I'm going to bring a dead one. I'm going to carry a dead one in. <laughs> Well, we'll have to get an update on your uh, your dog situation in the Patreon. Save he, it. He's been good. Yeah. Save it. Yep. All right. I can't wait to hear this update. No, I, I don't want to hear he's been good. I want to no, hear No, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, I want to hear rumors and action. Yeah. I, all right, so I can't Plain say he's been still. good. I will say that I went looking for his ass. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Perfect. That's what I'll leave it right. at. Let's continue that. See you guys. Bye.